Uh oh. Elizabeth can't find her way. Make sure. What? Uh, what's this person doing underground? This what? This person is is like in minus two on floor minus two. And has somehow gone completely off piste. <laughs> it's a no man's land. <laughs> Looks like she might be okay now. Welcome back. Crazy person. Yeah, thank you very much, Ivan. Thank you for your support, sir. GG. And if you got off sub, please remember to give Ivan a thank you. All right, so we don't have any jetways. That's uh, that's kind of late. That's going to happen later, I think, not immediately, because to have jetways, we need an upper floor, which means all that's got to be built out. We need to think about that. And I think what we said yesterday was we'll kind of extend this out and have another heavy here. I think we're going to get one, maybe two, and then we'll start converting some of these mediums to to heavies um, down this side. By adding a, a remote station here, I guess. Welcome back. Not um, but what I could do is I can actually get some money spent on the foundations on the first floor. And then that will actually be ready to rock and roll when we need it. Welcome back. Not 855 grand, let's go. Oh, the lag. The lag is real. Let's make sure we've got some people. Uh, deploy all. Let's go. Welcome back, Nata. Mr. Watchtower, how you doing? Uh, the airport has come a long way since I last watched. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did some good work yesterday. Kind of expanded this to the left a little bit. Uh, reconnected the baggage systems. Added more check-in desks. Uh, added a couple of heavy terminals. Added a runway to the north with with its own de-icing. Um, yeah. We did some good work yesterday. The underground car park is working nicely. Um, as you can see, this is all. Welcome to the nut house. Why is it when you load the game, it tends to go a bit bananas? <laughs> like, I literally built this as a one-way system initially to avoid exactly this nonsense. Maybe I'll slowly figure it out. I don't know. Looks like there's a bit of a traffic problem going on here. There's an awful lot of cars driving through. Happy anniversary. Well, I mean, it's just like a real airport car park now. Uh, I'm good, Watchtower. Thank you. Yeah, it seems to be working okay. Mr. Danity, thank you, 26 months, sir. Uh, Jellu, welcome back. I don't, I don't know if that's going to clear itself or whether I need to um, use the debug menu. I think it'll flush through, maybe. We'll check back in five minutes and see how it's getting on. There's, there's far too many cars here. It's never like this. What the heck is going on? There's been an update for Airport CEO. I think now there's three floors. Wait, what? Well, there's five floors in total. There's this ground floor, then one, two, minus one, minus two. I think what's what's happening is all the workers are coming in on buses and these things are just doing U-turns, like blatant U-turns. Might be an idea to, to have these over here. And maybe have a... Hmm, here's an idea. Why don't we put a, make this a secure area and have a little one-way road loop there and have this coming off the one-way road. Oh, there's a plus three, one sec. So the number's down here, one, two, three, there is indeed. There's now three upper and two lower, blimey. 
Uh, why do you still use Star Trucks instead of upgrading the gates? Um, if you're referring to jetways, jetways come in on level plus one. So that's why I'm specking all the foundation out for plus one, so that we can then, because to use the to use the jetways, you need to have first floor. Yeah, you need to have that where people can enter and exit the plane, which means moving all these check-in desks up a floor. So, yeah, you've, you've got to build out the upper deck before you can start messing about with that. <clears throat> uh, Harry Slay, thank you, 59. Welcome back. Thank you, sir. Uh, Red Pyramid, thank you, 14. Uh, I'm here, though not always, because of the very long hours. No problem. Nightbird, thank you for the sub. Welcome to Nethouse House Nightbird. The traffic seems broken. I'm just going to... Um, where's there? There's a button somewhere we can reset everything. Don't occupy road nodes. There we go. That usually gives it a bit of a kick. It's definitely major derped on the load. I mean, that's all flushed out now. It's like it spawned all the car park traffic in one go and then just had it all drive out and cause chaos. That's what it feels like. If you want to jump over a road, you will have to create the foundation on the ground floor and create the foundation on the upper floor and then delete the foundation on the ground floor. When you say jump over a road, with what exactly? Do you mean with foundation? I think I know what you mean. So as in, if I wanted to build an upper floor above this, I'd have to put foundation in first. Is that what you mean? Welcome back. Mr. Ainsley, thank you for gifting five subs to the community. Appreciate that, sir. Thank you. Very appreciated. Holy moly, look at these workers. Welcome back, Nutter. Now, if I make that a staff zone outside. Yeah. Then. Oh, you can't. Hang on. We need to make it a. Uh, Passenger thingy first. Room can't be outside of terminal. I don't want a room. To the nut house. On a staff zone. Okay. So if you do that and then put a door here, that will allow staff to go through but stop people from going through. Which means we can then... find the door we can put a large door here like that and effectively move this stuff to here oh, well, I don't know why it doesn't let you do this hang on taxi stop bus stop airside shuttle with a service car Vehicle parking lot, vehicle depot, checkpoint, delivery site, contractor site, right. So if we put our delivery site here, and then a contractor site next to it, and then have... Welcome to the nut house. Does this need to be a serve? Oh, it's a public road, isn't it? It's a public road. So we then have a public road going to here. Bit to like that. Welcome to the nut house. I've just noticed it has like a yellow line when you draw things out. No, never used to do that. And then get rid of these, and then at least then we've got a proper drop off point. <laughs> hey, Slim Jim, driving the wrong side. I know, bro. <laughs> we keep telling the world to drive on the correct side. E Dutch, thank you for 11 months. The last piece of cake. I like that name. Welcome to the nut house. Once this is built, we'll, we'll ditch these two. There you go. Because that means the contractors can now basically enter in here. So that's saving a lot of time going all the way around. Although quite where they're going now, I have no... Oh my god. Yeah, we'll get rid of that as well. <laughs> 
It's obviously determined that's slightly nearer than that one. Mr. Henry, thank you for 43, sir. Happy anniversary, Nata. Yes, I do, Nightmare. Yep, this one here. I think that needs to go. That's built now, so we need to demolish this. If I demolish that, what's it going to do? Oh, let's just find out. Two delivery zone will work. We'll use the closest to the, to the building site. Yeah, I kind of want all the deliveries here, though, I think. Because they can get straight in now, anyway. And if they need to go into that part, they can just go straight through there. So it's kind of it kind of works. A lot of construction is going to happen here. Extend your parking area once that's all gone as well. I don't think... Well, it's not really a parking area. It's a taxi stop-off. Um, there's car stops and, and taxis and buses. Uh, the, the actual parking is... You go down this road here. Turn left. You go down again. And then it's at minus two. That's where the car park is. And then they walk up this spiral staircase to get back up. I, I did play Prison Architects uh, in December. And we're kind of midway through our prison on that one. And uh, yeah, I need to I need to progress that prison a bit more. It was good fun. Can you actually apply? Where's the outside textures? It was like grass and dirt and that kind of thing. Walls, walls, doors. Is there no way of changing the terrain outside? to grass <clears throat> yeah that'll be on score plus that was quite fun that prison yeah that seems to be working quite nicely actually not sure what's going on here is that the symbol for I can't find how to get to where I want to go to? I think a lot of workers are confused by me demolishing this stuff. Hey, Zarek. Uh, you can put asphalt or concrete. Mm. I kind of wanted to change the outside and put some like grass down, put some like flowers and a fountain, you know? That would have been nice. Anyway, let's see what's going on in the um, aircraft situation. <coughs> so these are late. Aye, 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 aye. Boarded passengers. Wow, they've not built anything upstairs yet. Is that because they can't get there? No, they're actually building it. Welcome back, Nata. Try and guess. Thank you for 29. Sneaky Ninja. Thank you for the bit, sir. Yeah, I think something's not right with the contractors. How about this? Dismiss all of them. And then hire them all back again. <clears throat> nah, I don't I don't play Forza Horizon. One of things not right in this game. There's always some glitches. Are they all getting on the bus now? Oh, that still blocks up the road. Look at that. I should have put that further down. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, can you build two drop-off zones? Uh, you can do. You can have you can have one in different places, like I used to have though. So I kind of wonder if all that stuff has just got left behind now. Tell you what, let's get rid of them all. Because we're going to have to reset this somehow. That's interesting. I told them all to go home and yet they're building a road for me. That's a bit weird. You might have to restart the game to get rid of the materials. It's quite possible. Deployed contracts are 68. Available. Why have they not gone home yet? Are they seriously completely confused? What's this? I hate Christmas. <laughs> Why is there a button that says I hate Christmas? We're in February. I can't decrease the population. I can't dismiss more than... I think that's completely busted. Alright. Mm, the lesson I'm taking them from this is don't delete the contractor sites when they've still got stuff there because they get very confused. In the debug, there's a dismiss option, right? Where's that? Contracts. Generate job tasks. Generate continuous job tasks. Clean all floors. Clear all job tasks. Rebuild everything. Blimey. Dismiss contractors. I don't think it worked now. They're still here. I actually want it to despawn the contractors, not dismiss them. Because I think they're stuck. I think they... You need to kick the routing. They're trying to go somewhere that they can't get to. And they're very, very confused. Like, they literally can't work out how to get on the bus that's next to them. Uh, Solely walking back. I think a game restart is going to be in order. Yeah, that's just not going anywhere. You can also use the game without contractors. Don't know if, if that destroys the phone, but you can pause the game while you build things. So what? Happy anniversary, Nutter. Uh, Fat man, thank you for four months. Uh, Lampenbauer, twenty-five. Thank you. Happy anniversary. There's an unoccupy all personal nodes in the debug. Welcome back. Would that have worked? Not
Uh, Fat Man, you, it might tell you in your chat box because there's a few people gifted subs. How was Pippa's first walk? Sadly, we didn't do it. Because last couple of days she's been limping on the left paw. But it seems to be getting better. Um, but we thought, better not aggravate it today. Maybe tomorrow. Right, let's see what's happening. Oh my god, they're still here. I literally can't get rid of them. Please go home. Oh, they're off. They're moving. Probably get the car park problem again now, bet you. Yep. The game just, like, when it starts up, it just throws a load of cars into the car park and says, right, leave. And they all leave at the same time. Okay, they're on their way out. We're good. Deployed contracts is zero. Yay! Right, let's bring them all back now. <laughs> let's do it in stages, like 50 contractors. Let's try that. That's all that's clean now. Um, define clean. There's different levels of clean. But that looks fairly clean. Okay, we've got a Scandinavian coming in. A34300 from Mexico. Some delays going on here. Passengers in security. We're missing a, a passenger look. It's already near an hour past its turnaround time. Don't think they can get to the second floor to build. Well, they managed to build all of this. Yeah, let's, let's give him a staircase. Um, we've got a staircase here. We're going to have to do it anyway. We'll put, put it here, I think. Uh, infrastructure, what would it be? Terminal. Escalator. Is this going to send people up or down? Presumably up. Although that one sends people down. Yeah, but when you build it, you have to build it on one of the floors. So you either build it on the ground floor and it sends people up, or you send or you build people on the first floor and it sends people down. I don't know which way it does it. It doesn't say which floor to build it on. <laughs> so when we built this one, where is it? This one here. This one goes. It seems to remember that one went down. The slightly narrower bit is at the bottom. Yeah. But I've got a feeling we need to build it on the plus one level, maybe. Oh no, it must be placed underneath the terminal. So, yeah, it goes up, basically. So if we build this here, it will go up to the first floor. No, I don't think that's true, Bono. 
Not from what I just read. Unless... What's underneath? See, that's underneath. It wouldn't let me build it, you see. It has to go up. Let's find out. Well, Bono, you had a 50-50 chance of getting that right. <laughs> Let's get some more contractors in. You might want to make upstairs a staff zone as well. Did we make this a staff zone as well? Because I actually don't know. I don't think we did, you know. See, staff can go in the secure zone, I think. See, that is both secure and staff. That is only secure. That's only staff. There's a gap there, look. If it was a staff zone, there would be no passengers. Sneaky Ninja's got a very good point. About the jetways, you don't have to build a full second floor, just a bit over in the check-in desk with the stairs down, so no need to move them around. Oh, I see what you mean, Benna. That's a good one, actually. Hmm. The only thing is, though, Benna, I mean, I like that, because... Yeah, what you're saying is, on the upper deck here, you can just have, like, a small section where the jetway comes in, and then staircase back down here. That works nicely. But I think also it's missing an opportunity. Because you've got all these people coming off the jetway. Why not throw them into a load of shops? <laughs> why, not, why not sort of channel them through some shops? Or maybe when the passengers are waiting to board, have a load of shops around them. That's my thinking. Well... Yeah, iPads tend to do that, don't they? Do we need more de-icing trucks or something? Yeah, I think we need a couple of de-icing trucks. Was there always no door to the large stand from the boarding desk? Was there always no door from... Was there always no door to the large stand from the boarding desk? Yes. Because <laughs> it obviously failed to copy the door over. That's a weird one. Let's put a door there. <laughs> Wait, there's one missing here. No, there's not. It's just open, I think. I'm paranoid now. Looks like everywhere else has one. <laughs> Good spot. It's a start, so you can save the stairs. Yeah, I agree, Benna. But at the stage I might, I may as well just build the whole thing. I wonder if we can actually support another heavy stand now. I reckon we probably can, you know.
But we need to make sure we order enough vehicles first. So we know we need two stairs. One big pushback. We may need more fuel trucks, actually. Actually, we were doing some research on fuel trucks. Maverick trailer trucks, there you go. So maybe we should just replace the fueling. Should we just, like, completely replace this lot with the big boys? I think so. Johnny Raccoon, thank you for 32 months. Another month of quality entertainment. Thank you. Looks like quite a tricky game. Can be. Blazing Puppies. If you want to be a millionaire, start with a billion dollars and launch a new airline. I think there's a saying, puppies, um, the best way to make a small fortune in the aviation industry is to start with a big one. Lamp and Bell, welcome back. Uh, let's see. Add. Let's see. You can find them. Trailer. I find this screen very confusing. It's like it's not in any kind of logical grouping or order. And you can't filter it. I literally want why did they not put this filter on the screen? I don't understand. It's not large enough for the large yet. Oh, right, okay. Uh, the Fjord trailer truck, Avgas, Fjord trailer truck, the Maverick trailer truck. Is it this one? This one, sorry, Jet A1. I presume it's that one. The Maverick trailer truck. Uh, Loomis, thank you very much for sewing. Welcome to the new house, sir. Six should be good to replace them all. We've got eight medium stands. Eight medium stands and, and potentially two large stands. I'd rather not have just a few. Uh, Eurodreamer, thank you for 26 months. Let's think. Two for the large stands, right? And then eight stands, so maybe four between the others. Six. And then... Add a couple, anyway. I reckon that'd be enough. You need at least a Maverick per heavy. Well, we're gonna have... A Maverick per heavy. Plus... Um, six to run across the other eight medium. I'm kind of hoping that's fine. Long time lurker finally decided to sub. Well, thank you very much. That's very kind. Okay, let's order eight of them. When they come in, we'll get rid of the rest. Two more star trucks. A belt loader. Belt loader truck. Is that what we'll need for the heavy? God, there's all kinds of delays going on. The large dominator, this is the heavy, isn't it? The dominator. The top one is the one you need for the heavy. Surely this one. The first one. What this one? For the heavy. Oh, we're talking about the you're talking about the belt loader here. Mr. Empire doing. I think we need that for the pushback, but I am confused about the, the belt loader we need. 50 pounds an hour, top speed. 30. I don't get it, it's the same stat.
See, why have we got one of these things? It must be this one I need. The belt loader trunk. The big thing. That one. Get one of them. Four de icing before the new stand. We need to do catering soon. We're, we're not doing catering yet. I need to get on that. Okay, let's let's see what comes in. Whoa. See all these people here. We should have shops. We should be merchandising right now. All the merch is down here. It's no good. And the contracts have run out. Swift of edge. Let's go. WH Smiths. They're not paying very well. Last time we had Victoria's Secret, they didn't do so well. Let's try these. Never had them in them before. Let's see how they get on. Relay, you can do. Wait, what? Spa. Like literally all the contracts run out and the chief operating officer didn't do anything. Petit bisou? Why not? Are this company actually licensed him? It's a mod, mate. I'm running a bunch of mods that change all the names to um, real ones. The actual game doesn't have real names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's about six, four, five or six mods in the pack. One does the airlines, one does all the um, service traffic, one will do franchises, you know. I just find it makes it a bit nicer. We've got some problems here. We've got some delays going on. The question is, what's causing the delay? Let's have a look at vehicles. Hmm. Well, it's not that. Right, so this is all the big boy stuff, right? Idling. So we can get rid of all the black ones. All these new ones here are going to replace them. So we can get rid of that because you're idling. We'll get rid of that. You're idling. We'll get rid of you. Well, 52 knot winds could, could definitely cause delays if that's what it is. Uh, I think cabin ones are the fjord trailer ones. Well, they should be the Maverick ones we ordered, surely. Yep, we did a color all but nine green.
Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't assign that to the other large stand, apparently, because it's not active yet. Where's the one-way sign? It's under the road network. There's your road. There's your service road. There's your tunnel. That's your one-way. I'm a millionaire. Right underneath me is like the money that I see. 2.2 million. Uh, you also have a couple of small fuel trailers that are still coloured white that you purchased yesterday. They're very hard to tell apart. Is that the smaller one? And that's the bigger one, presumably. That's a small one, and that's a small one, I think. He's idling. Get rid of him. The thin cabin. I think that one. That's a smallish one. Get rid of that. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... I think that's right. That's what we wanted. Eight trailer trucks. 1974 Connor, thank you very much for 46 months. Kames, thank you for 21. Euro Dreamer with 26. You'd get a couple of more, really. Well, that's particularly one per large stand and then six to cover eight stands. I, I would hope that's enough. But we'll see. Um, let's see, baggage. Okay, so we've got the fuel trucks. The de-icers are in place, but probably coloured wrong. I honestly wish that they'd, they'd get rid of this cell button. Just move it. It's just so dangerously close to the set colour button. And because it's bright green, it kind of draws your, your attention to clicking on it. And there's no save. It doesn't go, are you sure? It's just gone. And then it takes like hours to get another one back. You now have nine fuel trucks. You still got a small one. Really? How the heck did that happen? Done. All right, let's open that stand. Hope we've got enough staff. Let's get some more PSAs in here. You'll do. You'll do. No way. No way. Too much. Baggage truck sign. A Two star trucks on 12. Um, pushback truck. We did. Pushback two stars. Baggage truck. Did we do that? Let's have a look. Two 
two stars, pushback, baggage, and belt loader. Uh, you join this game, are you playing as a completionist? Carl, I have never been a completionist, mate. <laughs> like, you know, those, I, it's just not me. No, I'm playing it because I want to explore the game. And I'm, I'm enjoying it. Like, it's really fun trying to scale up. Admittedly, there are UI issues and there are bugs. But, you know, still a lot there. You can click the vehicle and then drag to assign it to stands. What? What, as in... What, from here? Can't drag that around. Assign aircraft stand. Oh, Imp, it's a lovely game, mate. Really enjoyed Red Dead. That's interesting. Why did I need to go there? Gonna go and complete the little side bits. Um, well, Ainsley, that's down to a staggered flight plan, isn't it? Like, if we had two large and eight mediums all wanting fuel at the same time, I'd say we've got a planning problem. We've probably got bigger issues than that, to be fair. <laughs> Right, you'll do, and you'll do. It's a lot of red going on. Oof. Technicians we need more of, ramp agents we need more of. Actually, we know we don't need ramp agents, we've got loads of them. Another technician wouldn't go amiss. Security. Why do we need more security all of a sudden? Something else the game needs to add, allowing the player to set building priorities. Yeah, I agree. I, I That would be very useful. Or at the very least, being able to just say, do this first. You know, I don't want anything complex, but you have no control right now. This place is getting very busy. Yeah, one of the things I really wanted to do, though, is I think it was mentioned yesterday, is add some variety to the pathing. Like, it, it just feels ridiculous seeing people walking these, these tram lines here. Like, everybody just walks down that road there. Like, nobody kind of spreads out. Not yet, Bob. A lot of delays going on Let, let's let's spread the flights out a little bit until we figure this out let's add another 10 minute gap because there's a lot of a lot of delay going on
Wow, that's down big time. Zero insecure zone seems weird. So the actual tutorial wants me to build the shuttle bus stop. I was thinking about that and thinking we could probably do that here. I think these shops are going to have to move um, fairly soon. If we're going to put all the shopping upstairs here anyway. I'll free up this space because if we're going to have a shuttle... A shuttle bus to the remote stand is probably going to go here, I guess. Because it has, it has good road access under there. We're also going to need toilets on the upper level. the same place uh not really everest no <laughs> what are we drinking orange squash i should drink something that's green i need to get a, a drink like drink a lime squash or something because it looked really weird on the green screen uh, why is paul just drinking from an invisible glass Oh, the plumbing and electricals, crikey. That would be like prison and architect then. Well, I've already got a green cup, but... I think it would be even funnier. Like, having an invisible cup is not quite as funny as having a glass with an invisible liquid in it. That looks proper weird. Right, how do we do, um, we need to work out how we do catering. Oh wow, I've got nothing to research. Right, okay. In that case, we'll put them on, um, just projects where you can give, here we go, these things. Supply discount, staff productivity, marketing, passenger satisfaction boost, reduce project time. 5% supply discount on goods. Per assigned administrator, 5% salary cost reduction. Current output, 11% reduction. Wait, what? How does that work? I have 5% salary reduction with having two people. If I put four people... Or do we have to wait for that bar to come back up or something? Five is the maximum. What the? Sleet incoming, can't land. Holy moly, this is kicking off.
<laughs> Yikes! What is going on? What on earth is happening? We got. I think we need a second runway ASAP. I think it might be time to build another runway just to alleviate some problems here everyone's on strike due to salary reductions that's a medium runway that one. Oh my god that is not good Uh, what's the difference with the large runway weight? So, with a large runway, you can land the big planes. You can also land mediums on it if you want to, if you take that box. But at the moment, the taxiway that I have wouldn't allow the mediums to... I'd, ha I'd have to link the taxiways here. So allow the mediums to get off and then go that way. Yeah, something's wrong, Tommy. I mean, 10 hours, what's going on here? How can it possibly take so long? Five hours behind, seven, nine, like, what the heck? Get rid of a bunch of flights. That's that's crazy. Which one saw me? This one. Zero, 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 zero. I already did, Bono. I already turned it off. Just so that we get a gap here. Now the runway's on auto repair, it's not that. It could be a bug or I don't know. I'm kinda hoping it'll flush itself out. Like nothing should be that delayed. That's crazy. Stand A eleven, thirteen hours delayed. Loaded baggage zero. Is this something to do with it? A11. 
Where's the baggage car for this? Compensation claim on a 13 hour delay. That would definitely entitle you to a packet of crisps and a free coffee. That is not moving. That plane is not moving. Question is, why is it not moving? Planes are going to start arriving again shortly. Check your baggage line. Well, I did have a look and everything appeared to be just flowing naturally. This is the heavy. I can't like, I can't see anything stuck. I can't see any problems. Maybe there's just not enough baggage cars, but then it would tell me in operations, wouldn't it? Everything's green. So there's no shortage of vehicles. We always need more janitors, but we know that. Landed 0539. Does it show the efficiency of baggage line? Not that I know of, no. Interesting. As the game turned into Spongy Simulator. I think it always was. <laughs> Any kind of logistics sim does tend to go into Spongy Sim. Maybe two baggage carts per large stand. Like I say, if you look in operations and then look in vehicles... If we didn't have enough baggage cars that we'd find out here, we've got 10, six jobs acclaimed, one job available, and it says shortage, which doesn't make any sense because there's actually a surplus. Like vehicle wise, it's saying it's fine. Staff wise, it's fine. And yet here, stand A11. This doesn't seem like it's working okay to me. Hey, Pug. Hmm. 
say, look, there's something going on here with loaded baggage. I think the I think the baggage system is glitched personally. Is there anything we can do to kick the bag system? Lumo, greetings from a snowy CO. Is that Columbo? Columbo? Columbus? I don't know. Uh, long time lurker since 2016. Uh, any new term plans for Factorio? And will Captain Jack be back? Will Captain Jack be back? He's not gone anywhere. <laughs> Factorio? Yes, we still have to finish that launch off. Colorado, right, okay. D Dog, thank you for 22. Um, not a Caro, welcome back. 1974 Connor, thank you for 46 months. Came to 21, thank you guys. So, is this thing kind of flushing itself out now, do you think? That was, that was pretty bad, whatever was going on there. Right, jetways. So... If we want a jetway, we need to put the boarding desk upstairs for a kickoff. So if we take the boarding desk and the seating, or some of the seating, and punt it up here... Now if we say these are not going to have jetway stand upgrades they could have a jetway I mean uh, depends how we want to do it we could we could just have the heavy depart upstairs I don't know you need to close the stands when swapping board yes oh my god that's just horrendous. That's horrendous. What's the advantage of having the jetways anyway? Does it just speed up the boarding and deboarding? Getting a bit bored with a ding 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 constantly. All checking desks connected to flight stand connected baggage bays are occupied by other flights. Interesting. It's saying we don't have enough checking desks. Alright, Dave. Well, I don't think we're quite ready to do that. Um, I think we need to put the boarding desk upstairs first. Where's the jetway going to come in exactly? Is, is it going to come in exactly the same place? Because I don't want to put this in the wrong place, really. going to put in the same place, okay. We we'll just slap that bar.
And I think we'll mix it up a bit. More like these windows. I'm over there like that. Then we'll leave that out. So there, a lot of them are going to come off the jetway here. And they're going to walk straight that way, aren't they? So if we put a bunch of shops right there, they'll, have, they'll be forced to go around the shops. <laughs> Don't forget to add stairs or escalators so bags can go downstairs and collect bags. Yeah, yeah, we've already got the escalator here. We done that. We're just thinking about how to get people to go shopping on the way out. What? Yeah, we're going to use jetways. What I meant by mixing out was possibly use jetways here and then use stands over here. Stairs over here. So the idea was get the jumbos to bring everybody in. to Basically to deal with the jumbos upstairs and deal with the mediums downstairs. That was, that was the thinking. Because it kind of frees up what you can do. For example, right? If we say that all of these medium stands are going to use um, air stairs and depart from the ground floor then that means I need boarding guests on the ground floor and then on the upper floor I can use all of this space here to put shops and things for all these passengers using the heavies right and then flip side of that downstairs I don't need to have boarding desks here for all these heavies because they're going to be upstairs so then I can use this side for shops for these guys that was my thinking and also, it kind of neatly segregates. You know, you're not going to flood this area with passengers because the heavies bring in a lot of people. What difficulty? I, I cannot remember in them. I think we started... I think all it really affects is the starting money. I think. I don't know, though. I started on the easy kind of option, I think. Three million quid. Shop size would be a problem. Well, yeah, but it's better to have shops here and none at all, surely. How big is that thing? How big are these? Are these 16 by 16? Yes. So that would be one. So we're going to put one large stand here unless we move that. Which is possible. Could shunt it slightly north and bring them around that way. Good evening, Buzz. Make the shop make shops the width of the corridor so the passengers have to go through them to the exit. 
Well, you could... Uh, there's, there's lots of ways you can do it. You can have shops here and here. I don't know. You, you can funnel people, I guess, but... You bite the bullet and put two. Yeah, but I need to move the taxiway to do that. I think we'll just build a new taxiway for now. 